What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pre-Mutation Pack. So this was an exclusive pack, maybe for like Comic-Con or something, I don't remember. But this is a pack with four characters before they get mutated by the mutagen. So you can see our characters on the front. But we can go in and open up, so it has this cool drop down flap here on the front. So we have Baxter Stockman, Hamato Yoshi, Bebop, and Rocksteady. So all four of these look really cool. We get a lot of cool accessories that go with these characters and a nice display background once again. So we have what looks to be inside of the lab, maybe like the Technodrome or something. And we even have some designs down here on the bottom with what looks like a Roadkill Rodney head. And then like a blueprint of some device and chains and all sorts of stuff laying here. So another cool, awesome pack that has a lot of details going into this box. It looks really cool. I'm not sure what's on the other side. So we have a picture on the back, I guess, of our characters. So you can see with like different camera pictures of them. And then the characters back there as well. So pretty cool box design just overall has a lot of stuff of like the Technodrome. But a pretty cool pack with, like I said, the four characters before they get mutated so these will be fun to look at and compare them with our mutated versions that we have so i'm excited to check this out so let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together so we're starting off with our pre-mutated version of Master Splinter, which is Hamato Yoshi. And from the story, we learned that he fled to the U.S. after being banished from the Foot Clan due to Oroko Saki, which we know becomes Shredder. And here in the U.S., he lived in poverty in the sewers where he befriended rats until one day he found four baby turtles covered in some goo. So he took them, cleaned them up, but the mutagen that was on the turtles transformed him into a mutated rat due to his recent contact with rats. So this is Hamato Yoshi. So again, before he turns into Master Splinter, Splinter, and overall looks good. When we bring Splinter in, you'll see the comparison, especially that with the Gi design, he has the outfit very similar to what Splinter wore, and he's still wearing that same outfit design. But there you can see his humanoid face, so he's Japanese, so he's got the Japanese face design. He's got the black hair, but with the white highlights for the cell shading. Again, that Gi shirt, just like Splinter wears, it's like the maroonish sort of color with the yellow logos. And then he's also got the striped Gi pants, and then the gray color with the belt wrapped around, and then of course his bare feet and stuff. So overall looks pretty good. Very simple though, but very nice, and you'll see the comparison into Splinter. So for movements is that they can twist all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so pretty decent movements not the best but not bad shoulders up to about 90 there and can rotate all the way around we get the single elbow joint that bends to about 90 with some rotation in it and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have a twist all the way around at the waist and it does feel like there is some sort of crunch in there so you can crunch forward, crunch back. There's some popping in there but can crunch back and forth as well as some side to side. So whatever kind of joints like a big ball joint up in there. Then the hips can come up close to 90 out to the side that far. There is a little bit of a thigh twist in there. A weird double knee joint that's pretty neat design. That's real kind of stiff so it may be kind of hard to bend here but we can get it to bend up at least that far to the back. And then we have a shin twist at the bottom of the pants and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So overall, not the worst design. He doesn't have the best movements, but that's mostly just his outfit that doesn't allow it. But overall, he's not horrible. And as I mentioned, we do have Splinter. So here is Splinter. So you can see Splinter is still wearing that gi like shirt with the same color and the logos and everything there. So he turns in just from the humanoid version into this rat version. So very cool to have both the versions of Splinter here. So the Master Splinter rat version, as well as Hamato Yoshi version. And for accessories, he comes with a number of hands. So first off, we have some flat hands, so maybe like karate chop hands. We also get a set of grip hands. So we have a set with small grips for both hands and then we have a wider grip hand and with those we can put the bow staff into his hand So we have this nice bow staff we can give to him So there is Yoshi with the bow staff in his hand and what's really cool is as I mentioned He found the turtles in the sewer so we get a cool thing So we have a, like a little fish pool here and then we also get four baby turtles So these little tiny turtles that have big heads that look like the turtles, which is pretty fun So we have the four little turtles here Which are pretty cool we can set up and we can put them into the fish bowl now It's obviously really hard to get them like all standing up properly and everything in the fishbowl but we can at least just throw them inside there so we have them contained of four turtles in the fishbowl there with Hamato Yoshi which is pretty cool so that's a really fun to get him and the four actual turtles so it's really cool to get Hamato Yoshi and next we have pre-mutated version of Baxter Stockman and he was a scientist that created the Mausers to rid the city of the rats but he was thrown out by the Ajax Pest Control Agency and Shredder found him and offered him a job to be able to destroy Splinter with the Mausers. But at one point in the show he's thrown through Dimension X portal and when he did he had a fly on his jacket and so when he went through the portal their molecules were mixed up and he came out as a humanoid fly creature which we've had that figure before. So this is just Baxter Stockman beforehand. So overall he looks cool. He's got the nice like poof 
goofy hair design with more of like an angry face and then he's got the glasses on there kind of sitting on the end of his nose. Then he's just got the scientist outfit. So he's got like a white button up shirt with a yellow bow tie, a black vest on over that and then some like blue jeans or something there going into the shoes with the white lab coat on over the top of it. So overall not a bad looking designing but overall not a bad looking figure. He's a little short guy so he's not very big and when we see him compared to his fly version they're pretty much the exact same. But let's go do his movement so his head can twist all the way around. He can look down that far and up that far so not bad movements in there. Shoulders can come up pretty much to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get the double elbow joint design there so we can get bend at the top and bottom and pretty much bend all the way up. And there are twists in there at the top and bottom as well. But the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. Then I'm sure he's got some ab crunches and twists in the middle. So somewhere in the middle under his shirt, he's got some crunch back and forth and can twist all the way around. The hips can come up about that far, so under 90 and then out to the side that far. Some thigh twist up in there. The double knee joint, let's go and twist his leg around. The double knee joint that I know the lower joint has some issues, but you can get it to bend and once you do you can pretty much get it to bend all the way up on itself so you'd probably be able to kick his own butt and then we have the foot that can flex back and forth and twist a little side to side so he obviously doesn't have the best joints ever but he is a real small character so you're not going to get that a lot but overall i think he's pretty good and doesn't have too many issues and as i said we've already got his mutated version so he's the fly so here's him in the fly form which i really like this version i just think it looks kind of cute with the fly design but you can see there's not much difference they have pretty similar design like clothing just some different color changes but height wise they're relatively the same. So either way aren't bad. It's cool that Baxter is the normal version, but like I said, I do like the fly version a lot. And he comes with a number of accessories. So first we get some hands. So first off we have like a set of like grip hands. So we have a hand that's more wide open and then a smaller grip hand, as well as like a claw style hand and a hand with a pointing finger. And then he's got a number of accessories. So first off we have some tracker devices. So we have some trackers there. I don't remember what they track exactly. I know one of them in an episode is used as a tracker for something else we get here in a second, but pretty cool different like little trackers and stuff to be able to track the turtles you can put each of those in his hands and then one of those trackers track them as this so we have the turtles in their wheels where they get shrunk down and they have them trapped in a jar so a jar like you do bugs with the holes in the top and stuff and with this it's cool you can't open it and actually dump the turtles out so you can't have the turtles there they look kind of weird when they're just standing there like that but it's really cool to have those turtles so we got the little baby turtles as their actual turtle forms and now we have them shrunk down turtles that are trapped in a jar that i think is pretty cool so you have that as well and for him to trap him in the jar we also got a net here so we have a net there right so like spongebob's net but we have a net here we can put into his hand to be able to catch those little turtles and then we also get a mauser since he invented the mausers and we just did that mauser pack not too long ago so we have another mauser here to add in with that so just like all the other mausers so pretty cool overall here for baxter and a lot of different accessories we can choose and add to him but pretty cool getting him with the mauser and the little turtles is pretty cool so another awesome figure and then we also get the pre-mutated versions of bebop and rocksteady so both of these look really cool so bebop is an african-american gangster employed by shredder and rocksteady is a Caucasian American gangster and they are both sent after April O'Neil for doing a report on crime but they end up being defeated by the turtles so Krang suggests to Shredder that he mutates his soldiers so Bebop gets mutated with a warthog and Rocksteady gets mutated with a rhinoceros that they ended up stealing from the zoo so again these are their pre-mutated forms so we have Bebop and Rocksteady here so let's start with Bebop and he looks cool and it's going to be very similar outfit design and stuff that we see when we get the actual figure so he's got the nice purple mohawk all there with the purple sunglasses as well and as I mentioned, he's an African-American, so he's got the darker skin tone and he has the earrings in there as well. And he's got this red jacket on with the, it's kind of sleeveless, but it's got this nice big collar piece, which is weird, with a white shirt on underneath. He's got some leather bands with some studs on it there, some black pants going all the way down into the boots. So he looks pretty cool. And like I said, we'll see that comparison to the mutated form in a second. But we're going to do his movement, so his head can twist all the way around. Now there it was his lower neck, so he has the two neck joints, so it was his lower neck. But you can twist the upper neck joints because it's more stiff there, and you can get it to rock back and forth a little bit so up and down a little bit but with the lower neck joint you can look even further down and even further up there so good movements with both of those the shoulders can come up to about 90 there and rotate all the way around we get the single elbow joint that bends about to 90 with some rotation and the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth he's got an ab crunch and twist up in there so crunch back and forth and twist all the way around the hips can come up to 90 out to the side there some thigh twist up in there a double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back pretty much kicking his own butt and then the foot can can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So there's Bebop, pretty good movements, you know, not the best as I'd expect for a taller, lankier figure. So he doesn't 
the best movements, but it's not horrible. And then he comes with some accessories. So we get some grip hands. So we have a grip pin with like a standard grip and then one with a wider grip. And then we also get two sets of like claw style hands or whatever you want there. So we have those to go along with Bebop. And of course we have a bunch of weapons that we'll show in a second, but they could be for both of them. So I want to show them right now. So there we've got Bebop. And then we've got Rocksteady, which is a much shorter character, but overall he looks pretty funny. And so he's short and fat and white. So is the lighter skin tone. He's got the blonde hair up top there. That's just in the weird little section, mostly bald uh, everywhere else. Like I said, the all fat body. So he's got the fat face, then the yellow shirt with the brown jacket, tan camo pants and bands on his arms and belt, and then the darker color boots there as well. So he looks pretty cool as well. And again, we'll see similarities into the mutated version, but for his moments, the head can twist all the way around. He looked down that far and up that far. So his just has the lower neck joint there with his fat neck. So he has some pretty nice movements all around. Shoulders are stiff, but can come up about that far. So under 90 there and rotate all the way around. We get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation and the wrist twist around and flex back and forth. And then we have the ab crunch. So we'll crunch back and forth there in the middle. So crunch forward, crunch back and twist around. And have some overall nice swivel. Hips can come up to 90 out to the side that far. A little bit of a thigh twist up in there. A double knee joint that I know his knees have some issues bending, but we can get him to bend up that far. And he is able to kick his own butt just because of his big butt. And then the foot flexes back and forth and twist side to side. So overall his body's decent. Doesn't have too many limitations or anything. So overall that's good for a shorter fatter body and for his hands he's gonna have pretty much the same thing so we get some grip hands so we have the grips well two of the similar style grips and then we also have some like claw hands as well for him so we have those hands we can pick between for the different weapons that we'll see in a second but there we've got bebop and rocksteady they're together that i like seeing that team up but then of course we can bring in their mutated versions and again you'll see some of the similarities with their outfits and stuff that carried over but there we have them with the mutated version of bebop as the warthog and rocksteady as the rhino so there you can see how they mutated there. Now they also come with a number of accessories that were more specific to them. So first off we have a boom box so it's the 90s so we have to have a boom box. Looks pretty good just like a big boom box design that you can just sit to the side. Then we get a lot of weapons so first off we have a club so just like a wooden stick there as well as a baseball bat and a crowbar so not the best designs overall but you know do carry out the looks. We also get a chain design so if you don't want them to like be carrying a chain or something you can have a chain and then we also with it being a gang we have spray paint so they can graffiti and stuff so you can give one to each of them. So we have a lot of different things we can choose for them, but let's maybe just give them some weapons. So there I gave Bebop and Rocksteady some different weapons, but pretty cool once again, they get the human versions of Bebop and Rocksteady and all the different accessories and weapons they come with that can be used for other things as well. So very cool just to have them once again. Well, there's the four characters of our NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pre-mutation pack where we got Hamato, Yoshi, Baxter, Stockman, Bebop, and Rocksteady. And again, this was a Comic-Con pack that I really enjoyed. Four great figures here of figures we've already had, but of course they're pre-mutated forms. So before they came mixed with some sort of animal, but all of them are pretty cool and I really enjoy them all. But let me know what you thought of them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know the thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.